it's really an important question also to address. Um, I have, so this is, is a combination of things. A, and I think I can go back to about maybe 2008 when I really decide that I want to make my art that is socially politically oriented. Um, and that I really want to bring in these issues that are impacting me, but not also a lot of uh, other, so other communities as well. Um, and when I make that decision, I also make the decision knowingly that it's still not a moment in the art world where this art is really being looked at or collected like we, it is now in, in these contemporary times. But I, I, it's, at the end of the day, as an artist, everybody has to feel comfortable with who they are and the kind of work that they're doing. And that was the kind of work that I wanted to do. Um, I have been trained to make anything, and I knew that I could do anything that I wanted. And so I made the decision to make this type of art, um, knowingly that it would, A, probably slow down the, the, the rise of my career, right? because it's not necessarily the, what people wanted to talk about at that, at that time. Um, B, that it would also reduce the possibility of sales. Um, and C, that it also could reduce the, the possibility of exposure. And when I make those decisions, I also make another set of able to support this art. And so one of the things I do, which is I, I apply for a lot of residencies they will allow me to produce and make work and they reduce the cost of, of production. Um, I apply continuously for grants. Uh, the, the project, a locust project, is a combination of ULAI, it's a combination of funding from the John Mitchell Foundation that I was awarded that grant as well in 2018. It's a partially a grant from the University of, of Massachusetts. And it's a part of a grant from the, the, the Funding Arts Network in Miami who sponsors exhibition, A Locust Project. So it's almost like five different agency who helped to produce that one, one exhibition in that body of work. Um, and I also decide that perhaps not to rely on a market, that the best way for me to, to balance out my income would be to actually become a, um, a, a professor, a university professor. And, but now it's not just for the income, it's really also to be within an, an environment because actually one of the things I did when I was in New York to put myself through school was that I worked for an advertising company in which you can make really good money you know, and, and I have friends who are art directors and stylists who own their own building, you know, um, in New York. And so I, and that was also a decision. I decided I didn't want to pursue that career. And so the money was not the most significant thing at that particular time that the art and the, what I wanted to say was my art was more important to me. Um, and so that I needed to also be within an environment that will be supportive of my ideas and supportive of my art and they would be interested in those kind of, uh, of of trajectory and I realized that the best suitable place for me would be within an, uh, an institution that actually of higher learning that would that you know within an art department and that that would allow to financially balance out all these other things that could possibly you know take place which have taken place in one way or another. So uh, I, I mean, I, I desperately do need the funding to be able to make the work, you know. Um, I'm, I'm happy to say that it, it doesn't, you know, it's not the funding because I, I think with the pandemic, what's happened right now, you found many artists who have been really financially uh, impacted, but not just <clears throat> I'm sorry, not just impacted in being able to make work, but impacted in being able to sustain um, sustain their livelihood, you know, uh, and that means a home, that means groceries, that means doctors. Uh, and, and so, and that's different. It's one thing to, to be able to or not have a studio and make art in a studio. It's a different thing not to have your livelihood, be able to sustain your own livelihood and that of, of, of your family, if you have a family. 